All right, so here are 10 mistakes you don't want to make when working with PVC, CPVC, or ABS. And remember to hit the like button right here if you enjoyed and learned something from this video, or you'll get punished by the plumbing gods. Let's get started. So number one is not priming your pipes and fittings. Priming, which is only done on PVC and CPVC, is something that many beginners tend to not do whether it's voluntary or involuntary. But what exactly is priming? Priming is not cleaning like some may think. Priming is basically the chemical reaction that softens the PVC or CPVC and provides a prepped surface for the cement. Primers come in a clear or purple color, so it doesn't mean the pipe isn't purple that it's not primed. PVC joints are not exactly glued together, but fused through a chemical change. When the primer is applied, both surfaces soften and fuse together once the cement has cured, making for a leak-free joint. The primer has to be wet per se before applying the cement, and it must be applied within 5 minutes or the chemicals will evaporate. This is another mistake a lot of people make when working with this type of pipe or you run the chance of having a failed joint. And I urge you to thoroughly read the instructions on the back of the cement cans before doing any work to be sure. On to the next mistake. Number two is not applying cement to both the pipe and fitting. When I used to work on the job site, this had to be the thing I saw the most. Cement only being applied to either the fitting or the pipe. There's two main problems that happen when it's done this way. First of all, the cement acts as a lubricant to help get full penetration. So if let's say you only put cement on the pipe and it's not enough to make it go in all the way, you risk the chance of it leaking. And the second reason, well, there might not be enough cement to seal the joint. So always put some in the fitting and give the pipe a quick splash for none of this to happen. The third mistake is not twisting the pipe a quarter turn after it's been inserted. This is the main reason why glue joints leak or come apart like this one right here. The reason why it's mandatory to do this is to ensure that the cement is properly spread throughout the whole joint. Just pushing it in like this will increase the chance of not getting full coverage. If for whatever reason it just cannot be done, just apply some more cement on the pipe and fitting. But do take note that when doing this, it takes longer for it to set, seeing there's more of it. So just hold them together a little longer than you'd normally would, and you should be fine. On to the next mistake. And that's not holding the joint together the first few seconds after it's been glued. I mentioned this in one of my other videos, and I'll mention it again for those that missed it. You absolutely need to hold the pipe and fitting together when they've been joined, and this is due to the fittings having a tapered shape to them. The reason for this taper is to open up the gap between the fitting and pipe so it doesn't push the cement from the pipe to the back upon insertion. If the gap was too small, we could see that most of the cement wouldn't go between the fitting and pipe like it should. The only downside is that it pushes the pipe out as the glue sets. So always hold them together for the first few seconds. The bigger the pipe, the longer it needs to be held. Number 5 is dropping PVC or CPVC. As rugged as they may feel, they are very brittle. If it's dropped from a significant height, it's very prone to microcracking, which is barely visible to the naked eye. This problem is even worse when the pipe's been laying in the cold for a while. Unlike ABS, ABS has its own set of problems, but it won't microcrack if dropped and it gets a point for that. The only thing is that most municipalities don't allow it anymore seeing it's not fireproof. Another thing to watch out for when working with cold PVC or CPVC is to use a metal saw to cut it instead of ratchet cutters like these. The pressure required to cut through them will make the pipe crack and potentially explode, especially if your blade is a bit old. So just use a saw to save yourself a whole bunch of headaches. I personally know a guy that was cutting a cold PVC shower drain and he has a missing eye today. 
so do be cautious when working with this type of pipe. Number six is another mistake I would see often and it's not working fast enough. Whether you're working with PVC, CPVC or ABS, you need to work quickly. The reason being is that if you wait too long, the acetone inside the cement will evaporate and make it dry up really fast. So you basically have a 5 to 10 second window after the cement has been applied to both the pipe and fitting. A trick that'll speed things up if you're a beginner is to dry fit everything and make reference marks on the pipes and hubs. You'll be able to use these to make things go quicker during assembly. On to the next mistake. Number 7 is applying too much PTFE or Teflon tape to plastic threads. So let's say you have a mini split, a heat pump or a tankless heater drain that's copper and you want to transition to CPVC, you'll need to apply some tape to help with the penetration. Now like we said before, CPVC is quite brittle, so any extra pressure will cause it to crack, which is why PTFE is not recommended for this application as it adds a layer of thickness. The better option here would be to use a good pipe dope instead. Just make sure it's safe to use on plastic before. Number 8 is not deburring the pipe. The only thing that makes a plastic joint liquid tight is the cement. If it's all pushed back into the fitting because the pipe had a square edge, it's very possible you'll get a leak, especially on pressured lines. There's all kinds of specialty tools you could get to make a quick job of this, such as these here, but they're pretty expensive. So if you don't like dishing out, just use a rotary tool or a grinder to get it done. It only takes a few seconds and it'll ensure a good sound joint. Number 9 is leaving these pipes in the hot or cold. Like I said before, all plastic pipes become brittle when exposed to cold, and when they've been in the heat, they buckle and bend. So if you can, store these inside at all times. And number 10 is not letting the joint cure long enough. I see a lot of beginners glue up their joints and test them right away. And it's not okay to do this. If you go on Odie's website, they have cure times for every pipe diameter, humidity level and temperature and it must be respected in order for the joint to properly cure. You can't be in a hurry for this part. So always follow the manufacturer's cure time to get the best results. If you did make a mistake during your glue up project, I suggest watching this video right here to know how to disassemble a cemented joint. It could really help you get out of trouble. And that's it. Smash the like button if you learned something and share this video with your friends and family. And until the next one, thanks for watching.